today is going to be why write and it's going to go all the way through why write what to write all the way to how to self-publish a audiobook a ebook a print version how to design it every step is going to be in these 10 blog posts starting today so let's let's go for the first one and once again this is um, part of the grant I was awarded by the Minnesota State Arts Board so this is called this first one is called why write there are as many reasons to write as there are people who write. We can write for enjoyment, self-discovery, healing, learning, inspiration, information, entertainment, service to others, connection with others, documenting events, immortalizing people, holding someone accountable, and just to feel purpose and fulfillment. I began writing to heal myself. The writing was a way to get it out of my head and onto paper. Then to expand myself by reflecting on it. When I am ready, I share stories that I believe can empower, inspire, or inform others. I give myself permission to keep some stories private until I heal from those events. It is our choice when and if we share any of our writing. Writing my collection of short stories from my life was motivated by all the people who told me hearing my stories helped them and could help others. I write to express my feelings, stimulating my immune system. Reflecting on it allows me to process, get clear and heal. Writing expands me and sharing it is deeply fulfilling. One way to begin writing is to choose something we are curious about and play with words like a child exploring free of judgments. For example, I chose a spontaneous exploration of imagination in words below. This is writing about writing. Writing can make us into human kintsugi, the Japanese art form of repairing shattered pottery with golden joinery. The page can be a place to receive our truth, helping to put us back together again, giving us more character and individuality and making us more beautiful than before we were broken. Writing can be like an autumn wind removing leaves to reveal the skeletal structure of our forest. Writing can be like a volcanic eruption that throws debris and spews toxic gases, which then transform into fertile soil. Writing can be like cleansing rain that clears confusion and clutter and collects around disappointment. Writing can be like a gale force wind that rips away all not firmly grounded, leaving the essential truth. Writing can be recording subtle things before fragile feelings evaporate like mist. Writing can be waves of tender feelings washed up on the shore of self. Writing can be sharing authentic places with people we may never meet. Writing can be like telling our truth to a stranger without drinking so we remember it. Writing can be like going to therapy without an appointment or cost other than our time. We may not know why we write until after we write it. Putting it down, stepping back and getting perspective may be necessary to truly hear the words. Sometimes sharing the writing with someone else can allow us to hear it more deeply. It isn't necessary to know why or even what we want to write to begin writing. Sometimes we won't know what we have to say until after we say it. We may discover what we have to say by writing it, stepping back and reading it later. By following our instinct to write, we may discover things we didn't know we felt, thought, or knew. 
we may have to write for a time, maybe a long time, before we uncover what we are trying to say. Our feelings can be submerged so deeply that they are hidden from us until we excavate them by writing. Explore yourself and uncover hidden treasures. It is a good use of your time to be curious about yourself. Coming to know your own closest and most common, constant companion yourself is worth the investment of your energy to do so. Investing in a writing project is an act of faith in your self-worth. I began writing to have someone to talk to. The blank pages became my trusted friend. Writing is a way to record feelings, thoughts, and events. It allowed me to recall them later accurately and comprehensively. Writing became a way to process complicated things a way to set down difficult feelings, walk away and begin healing. Writing can be a way to express any and all hurts safely. Then my writing evolved into a way to share what I've learned to help others, which helps me. Writing is believing in yourself. It is self-nourishing. Offering it to help others is gratifying.